You might be aware of Phil's huge bubble gut, but what are his views on his current condition? We'll get you to know about everything, but before we start, hit that subscribe button to get exciting videos. A bubble gut. A bubble gut is an excessive enlargement of the stomach around the middle that makes bodybuilders look like they have excessive fat and a lot of swelling around the intestines. This trend has intensified in the last five years, with Mr. Olympians runners like Phil Heath, Kai Green and even former champions like Ronnie Coleman showing excessive signs of bloating despite low body fat. This has left many spectators or fans wondering what could cause these athletes' abdomen appearance and why it has been increasing in the recent years. Flatulence is known in bodybuilding circles as a HGH gut, insulin gut, palomboyism, or more popularly, bodybuilder gut, muscle gut, or bubble gut. As the name suggests above, the distended stomach of bodybuilders is believed to be caused by the misuse of insulin and human growth hormone. Even though Phil Heath could not control his bowels, a hernia was one of the main factors causing the problem in his midsection. After surgery, the former Mr. Olympia was in great shape. Not only is his gut in control, but his waistline looks slim. The slant is also visible. Take a look at the Olympic lineups over the past decade and you'll see the competitors' biceps and deltas get even more intensive and their guts. Known as the bladder worm, pioneers including Mr. O seven times Phil Heath, Kai Green and the eight times Mr. O Ronnie Coleman all took the stage with swollen, bulging muscles and begged us to ask, why did this happen? There's no data, it's all anecdote, says Dr. Thomas O'Connor, also known as the anabolic doctor, who specializes in patients recovering from anabolic steroid use. However, O'Connor's continued drive was that the bubbles in the intestines resulted from taking drugs, primarily insulin and human growth hormone, along with a high-calorie, high-carbohydrate diet. It's not a steroid, let's say, says O'Connor. Steroids were used in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, and you don't see a bubble. And what happened? The bar has been raised. All competitors consume more insulin, HGH, and calories, more than 10,000 calories per day and 1,000 grams of carbohydrates. As for how much is too much, O'Connor says that athletes can take up to 10 IU of HGH, which is five times more than the standard 1 to 2 IU, or less, prescribed at anti-aging facilities. Many viewers also refer to the gut as the HGH belly, a term based on the idea that HGH causes its insides to grow and expel the intestines. This is only partly true. You grow the mesentery, which is the intestinal tissue itself, and you grow your muscles in your stomach, says O'Connor, emphasizing that HGH alone isn't the cause. Many people think that the growth hormone increases the size of your internal organs, which swells your waist, said Dorian Yates, six-time Mr. Olympia in July of 2017 interview with Joe Rogan. So I went, and they had a series of tests that measured all of your internal organs, and mine were average. I see that you're still enjoying the video, so what are you waiting for? Subscribe to the channel and keep updated with every new information that we give you timely. Criticism Phil Heath, a seven-time Mr. Olympia champion, has been in the bodybuilding industry for over a decade and has consistently been one of the top contenders in the sport. However, in recent years, he has received criticism for his enormous bubble gut, which has been discussed among fans and fellow competitors. There is no denying that Phil Heath's midsection has grown significantly in size in the recent years. This is due to a condition called diastasis recti, a separation of the abdominal muscles that occur during weightlifting or pregnancy. The condition causes the abdominal muscles to bulge out, creating the appearance of a bubble gut. Phil Heath has been open about his struggles with diastasis recti, stating that he has been dealing with it for several years. While some fans have criticized Phil Heath for his appearance, others have come to his defense, saying that bodybuilding is a physically demanding sport and that competitors should not be judged based on their appearance. It is important to note that bodybuilding is subjective and each competitor is judged based on their overall appearance and symmetry. Despite the criticism, Phil Heath remains one of the top competitors in the industry and continues to compete at the highest level. He has been working hard to improve his overall physique and is determined to reclaim his title as Mr. Olympia. Phil Heath's enormous bubble gut has been discussed in the bodybuilding community for several years. While some fans and competitors have criticized him for his appearance, others have come to his defense, saying that bodybuilding is a physically demanding sport and that competitors should not be judged based on their appearance. Regardless of the criticism, Phil Heath remains a top competitor in the industry and continues to work hard to improve his overall physique. Even though Dexter Jackson retired from bodybuilding after Mr. Olympia in 2020, he remains a relevant figure in bodybuilding. 
He recently shared his in-depth look at the current diet and training and what Phil Heath did wrong at the 2020 Olympics. There are many ways to describe Jackson's legacy in the sport, but the best way to put it is to say that he had the most incredible longevity you've ever seen in the sport. With 21 Olympic appearances in 22 years, Dexter holds the record for most competitive appearances in IFBB Pro League history. Not to mention he never finished outside of the top 10 at the Olympics, not even into his last race at the age of 51 in that Mr. Olympia final, which he ended up being his final show. Dexter Jackson, the returning Phil Heath, appearing for the first time since he's losing his title in 2018. It was a long-awaited return that eventually saw Phil score third place. In an interview, Dexter said he knows precisely what Phil did. He said the seven-time champion arrived in a condition and height that was less than usual, which caused his performance not to be good. Dexter Jackson later explained that there were several problems with Phil's stomach, which he could identify with. For several years, Dexter dealt with bladder bowel problems and problems controlling his midsection. Finally, he got over this problem and decided to share his method. He went into great detail before, but reiterates here that it's about following a different diet plan. In today's world of professional bodybuilding, Phil Heath needs no introduction. He's an American IFBB professional bodybuilder who has won the Mr. Olympia seven times. He dominated bodybuilding from 2011 to 2017. He hasn't competed professionally for a long time. Despite a successful bodybuilding career, Heath has faced many health nightmares. The hernia surgery experience is one of them. Life-threatening surgery when Phil Heath was interviewed about his life-threatening surgery in 2017, he said the experience was a nightmare. This is a problem for professional bodybuilders like Heath because they have to compete and any problem with their physique can ruin their careers. Phil Heath was 38 years old at the time of the surgery. The bodybuilding icon even revealed that he could have died due to the disaster. You know, I almost died, Heath continued. I thought I just had a hernia until I had surgery. Even the seven-time Mr. Olympia didn't realize how dire he was about to find himself in. Despite all these severe health problems, he competed in Mr. Olympia in 2017 and won as a true champion. Phil Heath has come under fire in recent years, not about anything he said or did to anyone in particular. Instead, the criticism he faced was because of his physique. Phil Heath has been criticized for his thighs. This is a main point of contention, but now Phil Heath has improved his lower back with the help of his wife, Shuri. While it may have cost him the 2018 Olympia, Phil Heath has a significantly improved average at the 2020 Olympia. A big part of this is a lot with the lifestyle changes, surgery, and the help of Heath's wife. When you call Phil Heath the most successful bodybuilder of 2010, it's hard to argue with anything else. With a record seven straight Mr. Olympia titles, countless wins, and a career that doesn't look like it's ending anytime soon, there's no need to worry about that Phil will be inducted into our Hall of Fame. So that was all in this video. I hope you liked and enjoyed the video. Before leaving us, drop your thoughts in the comment section below and press the subscribe button to move on with us in our channel, Bodybuilding Olympians, and take a taste of every piece that we post.